Welcome back to Giant Monster Games. My name is Adrian, and today we are playing with Vince, also known as Pleasant Kenobi on the internet. Hello, I'm Vince, also known as, well, Pleasant Kenobi on the internet. And what are we playing today? So we've agreed to play some budget modern with a budget of 100 ticks. So it's kind of like a, so, like a mid-budget modern. I mean, it's not super yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's it's cheap enough to pick up and, and play if you're looking to get into modern. I don't know if my deck is going to be the kind of deck you want to pick up when yeah. you first get into modern. But. I feel like mine's going to be the exact same way. By the way, I won the die roll, and I am going to mulligan my hand. Oh, okay, okay, right. Shall and I oh, should we should we then? tell the players what we're playing, or should we like let it be a secret? Because I'm sure literally anyone who's watching my stream or my video immediately knows exactly what I'm playing by looking at my hand. Uh, so anyone who watched my stream will know what I'm, I'm playing, I think. Okay, so it's gonna we, be... we, yeah, we'll leave it a secret then, we'll leave it a secret. I really hope I don't see Cat Jesus against my deck, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I almost built, I almost built budget taxes, oh. but then I thought, you know, I started metagaming a bit. I thought, you won't have fetches, so there's no point in me playing <laughs> it was, uh, And I feel like we're like new friends, and this would be a good way of driving a wedge, a Cat Jesus-shaped wedge between that friendship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm still looking to I'm still looking to drive a wedge between that friendship if I can anyway, but that's not the point. Um, so I guess we, you said you want to keep it secret, a little secret from the, yeah. the audience of what we're actually playing. Okay, so anyone who watched my last stream will know what I'm playing from my side of things, or at least have a vague idea. I think they'll definitely know 100% what I'm playing, but I'm playing a more budget list of Monday's stream. So after this video, if you want to go and see this deck but tune up a little bit, you can go and watch my stream from Monday. I'll put links in the description below. Yeah, and, and you're gonna... I, I'll put description below my video for your video as well. So we'll then we put descriptions in all the videos. All the descriptions have <laughs> all the links to all the videos. <laughs> Sold. Right. Um, so you, uh, I'm ready to play. You've got the die roll, haven't you? Yeah, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna keep... I, I ended up mulliganing down to six. So, I needed at least one land. Turns out, it's sad, but true. I mean, you could have kept an Olander. I, I... I wouldn't have objected to a free win. But... If if I was playing Charbelcher, I would keep a no hander, a no land hand. But I am not, so I figure I should probably just go this route instead. You're playing a very fanciful pretty forest. Right, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of looting. Okay. Faithless looting. So, yes. I mean, so so how can you, you know, honestly play Cat Jesus and Faithless looting? I feel I like play, you... <laughs> I love magic so much that I will happily play anything. And I'm going through a bit of a phase this, this last six months of playing weird red-black combo decks, so... So we're so you're playing a red black combo deck is what you're saying, or am I? Uh, well, I hope you are. Uh, I'm going to be playing something which people most commonly know as elves. I should be fine. Okay. <laughs> At this point, it's just like. Flooding the board with elves. How do you get all of the elves into play like this? Um, actually, someone actually suggested in my um, on my channel that I run uh, what's the name of the card? Mass Hysteria. Uh, Mass Hysteria um, gives all creatures haste. So uh, as Come they on. come in, they're just like, okay, they have haste. Well, there's a, there's a couple of ways you can go with it because obviously Mass Hysteria sort of thing. Hey, you could play like a, like a um, uh, like a Perforos or Impact Tremor style effect, just ping with one per elf. You could play a singular grape shot. Like your stone count is currently nine. Yeah. Um, you could play um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Descent of the Dragons that turns all your elves into dragons. I mean, you could you could probably choose your finisher considering the amount of mana you're making. I think we're gonna go with uh, multi kicker a whole bunch here. Uh, mean, is this a wolf bar element or a Jiraga Wolf? Oh, Jiraga Wolf. <laughs> okay. I thought it was just like, like 20 wolves. I'm like, well, let's, just, let's just end this. Uh, I'm not paying for well, it. Well, that's, that's Angle of the Gods Insurance. That's good. It is, technically. Okay. And just because I haven't drawn into it yet and I'm getting out of cards in my deck slash just running the clock like crazy, I'm just going to go attack all. Yeah, you got that. Hey, let's uh, let's play another match. <laughs> let's see. If yeah, we... <laughs> I think we should. Uh, let's try that again, and this time I won't commit like okay. honorable, okay. honorable uh, suicide. There is a right. new match. There's a new match there for you to join. <laughs> right, guys. So we'll let's do. go. Make sure I click the budget one. Yeah. Cool. Here we go. Okay. So round two. R round, round two. two. Round two. We'll do see. Do I win we'll the see. die roll this time? Do I win the die roll? No, of course I don't. How about this? Because you lost the last one, I'll let you play first. I have this oh. choice. I have the power. What? I'm like... Wow, I appreciate that. Well, I mean, I, I, yeah. I, I went 2-0. I mean, I, I, I 
miss I misspoke and said I, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I, I literally thought, oh, 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 is that what's happened there? I was looking at my watch thinking I should have been dead like ten minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, right, what, yeah. what is going on? Yeah, so like, um, I thought we were gonna have dinner. I mean, what's going on? Yeah, <laughs> it's one of the most expensive cards in my deck. I feel like you could have like went off, you know, got a coffee, come back. I'm still playing one now. I did. Every... I actually went to the yeah. tournament practice room to play another game. Oh, with okay. I, I, I mean, you gotta get better with it, right? Uh, oh, zing. hey, I went three three on my stream. Three three. <laughs> yeah, beating like Jund and everything. But you're not play You weren't playing the budget version. This is. I'll no, give, I'll the, give the that lands are, are a lot worse. So, okay, that's fine. So, right. Well, here, here's a turn out for the books. We've actually got a waste knot. Bum bum bum. Oh boy. Um. Now, what do I want to play? I feel like mana. Oh, I can't play that. Oh, mm. what on I earth just, are you thinking of? Oh, I, did you think Heritage Drill was a Llanowar Elf? Yeah, yeah, I thought it was a uh, Llanowar Elf. For some reason. Unbeknownst to me, I thought because it Because it basically is, but better? Uh, if you have the elves to go with it. <laughs> yeah. By itself, not as much. Oh, I should attack. Should have attacked. Didn't attack. Should have, one damage might mean... It, it could be. I mean, yeah. you would have been, I'd be winning by two points of life. Oh, so here's a story. Here's a story. Um, so when I first started playing Magic back in 94, 95, whenever it first came out, um, I was convinced that having more life was better for you. Like, you're like, I'm winning because I have more life. Ouch, that's going to hurt. Um, so I would play cards that, like, just gained me life all the time. Wait, 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 wait a second. Oh, wait, wait a this, second. you don't have Metalcraft. No, no, it's the first part. My, my Waste Knot didn't... Oh, it shuffles in! Oh my god, that's why it wasn't in the non-budget version. Hey, Macarena. I just I just punted this game, buddy, because I just literally got rid of um, my burning inquiry. Oh, man. You're not out yet. I mean... <laughs> oh, man, you're, I misread that card so bad. It's literally a one-of as well, just to fill in the slot where... I... And for a second oh, there, I thought you were going to do a Ugandan Knuckles impression. <laughs> I thought I thought we discarded and drew. That's why the card is bad. Mm, nope. No, no. This card's okay. really good in um in a deck where you need people to draw cards or shuffle their deck. Yeah. Do you mind if we do our round two again? <laughs> we can go. This is dreadful. <laughs> okay. That's I mean, we can even we, I can happily keep this in the video. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I want to go around on camera. Okay, let's go. Oh let's my go. god. Okay. Read the fucking card. Right, okay. <laughs> oh, I can see that. <laughs> I was like, oh, I, when I saw it earlier, I was like, why is that not in my normal one? Because it's, it's a three mana wheel, and that seems very good for modern. And um, the reason it's not in the deck is because it's shit. Yeah, because it, so, uh, it doesn't really work with Waste Knot or anything no. else that your deck is trying to do. No, and the thing is, that hand was nuts if that was any of the other like similar effects. Uh, so what are you going to take oh. out? What are you putting in place of it? <laughs> I'm assuming I'm you're taking it out right now. Yeah, I just took it out and put a reforge the soul in. Okay, right. Let's try. So this is officially round three. You can have that as a win. I don't. Uh, yeah. I don't want that. I'll take it as a. As a I'll take it. I'll take it as a, uh, a misplay. Oh man, I turned to waste not into burn inquiry and I threw <laughs> it away. Quite uh, literally. Okay, do you want to? Do you want to play first? I have the the option. I, I, I would like to. Okay. I feel like I've I've lost two yeah. games so far. We'll, which we'll, is we'll, and I, I mean. I feel like you lost one game on variance, and the other game on having a card that is just <laughs> not supposed to be. <laughs> right, let's um, let's give this hand a go. This this seems okay. Uh, I will mulligan away. Uh, I will keep this guy. See, there's there's one other thing I can do in this deck as well. There's uh, this deck also has style points that I I may try if I have the chance. Did, I'm gonna try well, and go for style do? points. No, that that's that's true style points. That's like that's, the style points. that's epic level. No, I have the uh, the druid that steals all your opponent's lands if you have enough druids in play. Oh yes. And if I'm like oh. if I'm like uh, going off and I have enough druids in play, I can just be like, whoop, <laughs> take all your lands. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Right, cool. Let's go with that. The one yeah. problem with the one problem with this deck is is like as soon as your opponent has like mass removal, it's like okay, deck done. <laughs> Well, unless I randomly discard said mass removal. Or to, that too. Uh, Did you just do that? No, no, in game two of round one, I uh, discarded my angle of the gods, didn't I? That I drew. Uh, yeah, yeah, you totally did. Which, and then you had, well, you uh, had one down the road though, didn't you? Nope. Uh. <laughs> they were all in the bin. Right, let's cast Faithless Looting again. Okay. Dig and a little deeper. You get anything good? Dig a little deeper. No. Hmm. That is mighty 
unfortunate. Okay. So it's nice that you don't have like fatal pushes in the deck or lightning bolts that I mean, seem to be regular. Side, <laughs> yeah. Like I said, pre boar I think I'm probably a bit of a dog. Yeah, I mean, um, the other thing about this deck as well, and like when I lose matches, it's because as soon as I get past turn like turn three, is where things get into danger town, uh, because when I start having a ton of mana. But like if people can like turn one, turn two, remove creatures, it's usually game over for me. Yeah, I I don't I'm not planning to interact. You see, I'm just planning to. Are you go enough? For it Are you going for it? No, of course I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got? We got a red. And a black. Can I hit a waste knot? Can I hit a waste knot? I can hit that. That's not bad. I'm gonna assume that that is uh way. What would that be? I'm trying to think of like what do I know about your deck that I've seen in the okay. graveyard? Liliana's caress. Whenever opponent discards a card, they take two damage. That. Yeah. Is that's okay. But I also didn't fetch a swamp earlier because reasons. Mm -hmm. I blame filming at nine o'clock at night because of your busy busy schedule. Yeah. Nine o'clock well... my time. It's like. Lunchtime? Dinner time? Dinner time? With you? Uh, yeah, it's five o'clock. Maybe five thirty. Like almost five thirty. And we. I'm just gonna spew my hand onto the table. I hope you don't well, mind. Well, you were free not to get angered until uh, post board. So, um, which way do I go? I think we're gonna go this way. And then you can go to your. Oh, hold on. Wait. One, two, three. Uh, do I want to go this way? I. No, I don't want to go that way. You okay, you can go. Your turn. Oh. I'm just thinking. I'm like, what's the what's the best line of play here? And the answer is going to be, let it go to your turn. Okay, that wasn't great. So I'm gonna X. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure if you've okay. noticed as well that I don't have much of a hand to discard anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't really do a whole lot. So I'm going to Faithless Loot. Oh, wow, I, I hit a card. I, I feel like this is just a bad matchup, me. actually. I'm like, oh. The pre-board is terrible. <laughs> like, I don't interact with you at all, and I can't seem to hit Waste Knots. I mean, I've just found one on turn four after casting three Faithless Lootings and two Manamorphoses. I'm, mm. I'm 20 cards deep. Just yeah, that's, I that's, guess that's kind of. I mean, the variance, yeah. unfortunately, is a thing. Because you have what? You're running four yeah. fa four waste knots, yeah? Yeah, yeah, four waste knots, three caresses. Mm. So to have only played two so far across our games is frustrating. And, and to punt away the match where I had it as well by having a bad card in my deck. Aww. Does my hand do anything here? I think. I mean, if I, I, if I told you that, that I have lethal next turn. Would you play all your stuff? I don't. I don't have things to play. I, I, I oh. don't have a waste in play. I haven't hit a single burning inquiry. Um, yeah, it's been pretty bad. And we are going to play Jorgad Mawar Caller. Yeah, sure. So I, I, elves, elves are good, right? Okay. Okay, Let's... I think you have stuff in the sideboard, and I mean... I have loads of stuff in the sideboard, but I will... What will happen is, if I want... The problem with the deck is that I can't play the engine cards like Burning Crew with Garden, then it seems, so that's... Mm. It might just be bad luck. We could be we could be running into a classical case of bad luckmanship here. Yeah, possibly, possibly. Um... I think we're just going to run her back the way I had. I'm going to go for style points this time, by the way. I'm going, I'm going right. style... I'm going for the style point victory. Okay. No more of this, uh crazy you know um, no for this crazy Banefire victory we're going for the other victory I've already shown that I can win on the Banefire victory and the elf beatdown victory which was the style victory <laughs> what his guilt leaf arch oh, is the style lands. victory it's stealing I mean, I only lands. Have three lands but uh, maybe I've got too many lands in my deck as well that is a possibility because we only played with 17 last night okay let's get rid of desperate rituals I've been drawing a lot of mana producers. Isn't useful. And I'm going to go with 61 cards because I'm tired and I cannot be bothered to figure it out. Right. I'm on the play. I just need to go. I just have a waste knot and a burn inquiry. I mean, might get to play some cards. Okay. Sounds good. And there's and four I, I'm, of each. I'm going, I'm going for 100% style victory here. Just be advised. Style victory or bust. Right. We'll have to play first. Yes, I would. 
Okay. Okay. I will keep it. And I need a mulligan. Uh, this is keepable. And you can go on top. The one thing about this deck is whenever it draws into, like, three land hands, I'm like, oh, I don't want three land hands. I only have 13 lands in this deck. Why would I ever want a three land hand? Yeah, that's fair. I mean, especially with all your mana fusion guys as well. Yeah, well, and the big thing is as soon as you start, like, going off with, um, the Paradox Engine and the Lifecrafters Bestiary, you don't want to draw into lands because you can't draw more cards if you draw into a land. Right, right, okay. Um, I've got some really hard decisions, so I probably need to keep all of this. Oh. <laughs> um, so that's not great. Well, I don't have a very fast hand, for the record. I say this, but I'm also playing an elf deck. I am going but, but to... Back. Oh, God, this is hard. People watching at home, because I want to do this with this in play, but I also want to do this and this to get ahead. Um, I think I can't... Yeah, okay. Okay, so what do you have to throw away? You threw away Metamorphose. Wow. Yeah. That's a card. Not... And then Dream Salvage. What is this? Draw cards equal to number of cards. Target opponents discarded this turn. Interesting. Sometimes, yeah, it, it's, it can draw three, six, sometimes 12. But not in our matches, obviously. I, I feel failed like. failed to I feel even like mildly go off. I feel like that card is like sideboard outworthy almost. Well, it's a key integral part to the, the engine. Like, okay. once you start going, you need it. Gotcha. That's why I gotcha, felt gotcha, bad gotcha. about having to. Alright. So there's Waste Knot. Now, I need to go to Banana Town and pick up some bananas. What, in the... <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. it, sound, it sounded good in my head, so I just kind of went with it. And then when you said it out loud, I'm just like, he's playing Tassigo? He, he, <laughs> yeah, right. he mains Soraka in League of Legends? I don't know. Um... Are you really going to unload your hand before I get to waste not you? I'm trying. Oh, I'm, trying my, I'm trying my best. This matchup is terrible. You said this matchup would be fun. This I thought, I thought, I thought it would be. I thought it would be. I didn't realize that, that your deck relied on discarding you as much as cards, it did. You like, cards in your hand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. I mean, I have a card to draw me cards. So this is a thing, at yeah. least. That is true. Um, okay. If you can make me discard, you're going to slow me down a lot. Yeah, I don't think it's going to get us very far, though. I don't think so. <laughs> I feel like next time I should just <laughs> play, play something else. How's yeah, Tron, how is Tron as a matchup for you? <laughs> I don't know. I guess as long as I get to play some cards. I don't know. If I don't draw Waste Knot, the deck's pretty bad. That's why you need the Faithless Lootings. You know, the Faithless Lootings do feel a bit weak as well. Yeah. The deck's, yeah. No, like, the deck's not even trying to imitate a top-tier deck either. It's quite janky even when it's non-budget. Yeah, I mean, but, I guess that's the thing about mine is, like, it really is a combo well, within just, an elf just, shell. So it's just, like, they're yeah, fast just, no just matter what. Just playing elves is good enough to beat uh, janky brews, isn't it? Some yeah. I guess I'm going to do this and probably regret my decision. Ah, uh, so no, I mean, I have a, okay. I have an elvish visionary, which is definitely good for you to get rid of. I, yeah. I feel like harmonize would be a good one for you to get rid of as well, mind you. Yeah, I can't get rid of it with Inquisition. If that was Thoughtseize, if this was a less budget deck, I'd be all right. <laughs> yeah. Touche. Um, Let's discard this, and... I feel like if I was playing Dredge, it would be worse, though. Because that was the other deck. I was like, oh, I'll play Dredge. Dredge seems fun. And then uh, I think it would be worse, because you'd be like, okay, you discard a card, and then I'm like, sweet, Dredge is in the graveyard. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have any of the actual sideboard, sideboard hate for Dredge, because, again, they're not budget enough. Yeah. So certain archetypes you just can't beat without sideboard cards, like, like Dredge, for example. Mm -hmm. um, well, you can, but not in, like, a red-black shell. Like, I guess I can play Graftigger's Cage... Uh, you can play cool, Tormod's but... Crypt, technically, but, I mean, you're kind of trying to fire it off at, like, key moments, <laughs> so. Yeah. Let's get rid of these, then. Bolt of Lightnings. Yeah. That seems like a pretty pretty hard get rid of. Yeah, well, I'm trying to actually not just stop you from winning, but actually win. Ah. And I, don't, I don't think Bolt helps me. I think also post-board, like, I get better with the Angers, but the Bolts are just taking up slots for other cards that actually fuel the engine. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, actually, we're going to go this way. Okay, Harmonize. Drawing cards. Hey, playing Man, I wish, I wish that Inquisition was a thought see so much. I like, bet. 
I cannot begin to explain. The other thing was I almost played dresses to free up a bit more money in the budget. Oh, dress would have been so much better. Yeah, then. <laughs> dress would have been much better. I mean, it would have been on the whole worse against because I wouldn't get to like catch your arch druids and stuff. But yeah, it but it also gets rid of. Uh, it also would get rid of the lifecrafters bestiary paradox engine, um, mm. and harmonize, which are all pretty like if you're going combo wise. Okay. I mean, again, this deck here just it should just play, <laughs> just play more creature stuff. But, yeah, well, I I mean, but style I, I points, some, man. Style points. I, get, I hit a harmonize there, so that's pretty good. Okay, let's cast this. You hit double Please. harmonize. Three harmonize. Oh, I hit double harmonize. There you go. Sweet. Okay. Uh, red, red. Let's make a burning inquiry. Oh. Let's got more cards. Um. Did you get rid of cool. my guilt? Any guilt leaf yet? No. Okay. No, I got rid of Draga and Elvish Heart Druid, but I. I mean, the, 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 not, bad. not bad cards to get rid of. I guess I should be F6ing through your turn here. I'm just making more zombies, though, which doesn't feel great. I mean, zombies. That's so, zombies well, that's again the matchup. The matchup requires me to have fuel. I don't have any fuel, so I need mana and draw cards. Mm. Okay. Oh, yeah, I guess the one thing is this like, whenever an opponent discards a land, you get mana. Yep. And yep. the fact that I'm running, <laughs> what, like, 14 lands. Yep. This is just the... Yep. I, I literally, like, I'm so sorry, man. I was like, <laughs> this, I gonna be, elves, this is going to be, like, the best thing. Yeah. don't seem very good. Because the zombies is literally the worst part of this card. Like, it's okay yeah. if I make enough of them. Like, I didn't if swing you, down If you make enough of them, yeah. Okay. We're going to draw off of this as well. Two cards. Two cards. Wish I drew two cards. That would be exciting. <sighs> Which way do I go? Uh, I think we're going this way. Sorry, just thinking out loud here. <laughs> Which way is the beach, he says, as he That's... flexes with his elves. <laughs> yeah. They want to pump you up and steal all your land. So three they're... more mana for you. Yes. Yeah, uh, this matchup is just it's a bad garbage. It's, it's it's a bad one like, for you. It's it's really quite bad. And I think I actually have to oh do I have to ship it to you? Uh no technical uh yeah I do. So yeah. Um oh no I don't. Oh was your, I thought your budget was gonna hurt you for, for a moment then like you can't untap your stomping grounds or whatever to make another red. But no. I don't need red. I'm, I'm just trying to dig into stuff that I actually need, but... Okay, I'll help you with that in a moment. We'll yeah. draw more cards, yeah? Yeah, well, I think drawing cards is the, is the best bet here. 38 cards left in your library. Maybe I can deck you. Uh, it's possible. Okay, well, you can have your turn. Right. What do we draw? And... That's not bad. Metamorphose. Oh, I should skip you through your turn. So uh, to try and get into my Lifecrafters BCRA slash um, Paradox Engine, I put Madcap Experiment in the deck from the sideboard. <laughs> Trying to get there faster. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, that didn't do anything either. Okay. We got some elves though, but you got you got you've got elves that are. Oh, sorry, we've got some zombies. You got elves that are just as big. So yeah, I think so. yeah, it's kind of. I mean. It's... Swinging in for some damage seems doable. I think we'll throw this guy as a sacrificial yeah. leaf, leaf muncher. Zombies need brains. Zombies need brains. Um, ooh. I think I... Let's see if we get it. Okay. So I have a paradox engine now. <laughs> <laughs> Will you just stop? <laughs> but this deck is too fun. Come on. That deck is too fun to play. Okay, uh, tap three elves. Oh, tap to bad elves. Okay. Okay, we're gonna try for it. We're trying for it. Well, you can't not win, right? There's no uh, way you can't win from this position. Oh, you're true. That's true. But do you want to see if I can steal your lands first? Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Okay. I'll even sack the Spudstone Mar and fail to find, despite you. Okay. And let's. All right. So much tapping of stuff. 
Okay. So the downside about this thing, I mean, just playing it is super slow. It's like, what I used to, I started trying to play Malira combo a little bit, more of a spike on Modo. I just stopped because it sucked. Yeah. Like it just sucked trying to combo I, off with Malira. I've tried to play in this deck a few times on the, um, on live streams and it's just like, oh, it takes so long. I don't want to do this, guys. Okay, I think we got it. So now we play Guilty Farch Druid. And paying three, which I have 22 mana right now. Yeah. Okay, paying this. And do I have enough druids yet, or do I need to still keep playing druids? No, you have enough. I need two, four, six. Yeah, you have plenty. All right, stealing your stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Steal all your lands. Sacrifice this. <laughs> And say done. <laughs> we can, you we can, if you want, we can play a different deck. I can play one you of my can other only decks. Get five land today. <laughs> Wholesale on lands is what it was. Oh, I forgot to uh, untap my stuff and then swing in. <sighs> do you want to play a different oh, deck? Do you, want, do you want to play against a deck that is not elves? I feel like this is just um, a bad matchup for you. We can go for another game. We can do, yeah, we can do one last. I mean, uh,. Because if you think of it there, like I, I had, um, I think it was eight zombies or seven zombies. Each yeah. zombie represents two black mana or a card drawn. And against elves, well, against any deck, you just want to make mana and draw cards. The zombies are literally the worst mode of waste not. Okay. So you... uh, any creature heavy deck does hurt. Also, when you empty your hands so quickly as well. So I guess affinity and elves are pretty bad. And Eidolons are bad as well because you're a storm deck. So okay, so... I have we'll either uh, either I either have another combo deck that would be fun to play, or I can play just like a general ca like general aggro deck like cats or dragons or something like this. Yeah, it's completely up to you. I will put it in your hands. I will just hold you completely responsible when it goes horribly wrong in a moment. Mm, marvelous. Um, there is a problem that the deck also folds to itself. So even against its good matchups, you you only win fifty percent of the time, as we as we saw last night when we were playing. But. We were, we were killing like um, fully valued Jund and stuff with it, so the deck can get kills, it's just not against uh, heavy creature based decks, I guess. I guess, so I guess also, like, deck, Tron, also Elves yeah, is just fun. like. Uh, so I'm going to play another. It's a type of control deck. Um, okay. But it's a silly control deck. I'm not going to tell you what it is. But okay, it's a silly this, is our last, deck. this is our last game to see if. <laughs> I, I, feel like we, actually... I feel like we should have just done this on a live stream. Just. <laughs> I think we've I think we've played like f four rounds now, and I've only made like maybe five six mana off of waste knot, which is unbelievable. Yeah, this one you should have oh, much okay. a much better time. I'll even let you have a uh, first go here. Okay, <laughs> family case. <laughs> so I need a mulligan as well. This is not a good hand. This is no lands. This is also no lands. Wow. Um, I'll Looks keep it like because I'm it has a land. Win. Yay. Uh, do I need an extra land? Um, no. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, let's go. You, you ahead. don't, you don't often get the the best hands in the world, but today, I was gifted with the best hand. And here you go. It's a black deck. Mono black deck, for that matter. Mono black control. No, uh oh, actually, it's not. The old it's, straw it's, type. It, I guess it technically is a type of control deck, but it's not actually like mono black control. In the sense of okay. like what so you would be think, devotion. It is Torpor. mono black, mono black oh. torpor orb deck. Okay. What? <laughs> I got you. I understand. I see where we're going with this now. Have you heard of Eater of Days before? Do you want me yes. to introduce you to her? <laughs> Let's go ahead and make this. Okay, so me discarding cards is going to be real painful here really soon. Yeah, I mean, the setup is, uh, is scary. Scary as I wait for. Okay, I think to be. You're going to play a hunted horror of some. a hunted card of some kind? Um, not yet. I'm actually going to play Treacherous Pit Dweller. Um, which has so Undying, normal. but when he comes back from Undying, he goes into play under your control. Unless it doesn't trigger when it enters the battlefield. <laughs> cool. Okay. Okay. Which means he also doesn't get his token from undying either. So, once again, you mulligan to form into my dark deal is terrible. 
Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so, yeah. <laughs> technically, like, I, I think we're going to pitch no, it. No, it's not technically. It's literally. <laughs> literally. literally. That, that was my plan the whole time. Mulligan to four to prevent you from winning the game. I need to <laughs> hit Bowie Freeze, and I'm not hitting anything. Okay. Let's go I ahead. I mean, if, if you make me discard a card, I'll take four damage. Four damage, yeah. That doesn't seem so hot, does it, for two enchantments and a three mana sorcery? Um. I guess Dark Deal does dig me deeper, because currently I've got. Are you gonna. Oh, you're gonna do it for yourself, eh? No. No, no, it's both players. It's both oh, players. Both players. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you need to get a new hand. But I'll only get two cards off of it. Um, I guess. Why two not? cards is better than zero cards, right? Yeah. And Avatar of Discord. Goes to the graveyard. I don't draw any cards back. Um, I should always yield to these. Yeah. I feel like that would be smart. Always yield. So as you can see, Liliana's Crest is the weaker version of Waste Not. Yeah, no, of course. Well, it's, it's okay. It's better in some ways, because it allows you to kill people through, like, um, scenarios and things like that. It also kills through Liliana of Sanctity. So the deck has a grape shot in it, so normally it's trying to grape shot kill people. Yeah, um, I guess it also... Uh, a lot of like dredge and stuff like this is also just kind of be really painful. The like draw discard stuff. Yeah. Um, let's make a red and a red. Oh fuck me! I've got two lands in hand. Right. Well, let's go game two. I'm not. I'm not done yet. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that that game is over. Oh no. That game oh no, dude. Um, what can we do? Hmm. Maybe the deck does just need really good hands and some last night and we're not gonna get those ever again. Or or maybe maybe the like budget version of it just doesn't work. Well the only budget thing like I said is the mana base. And I guess I'm playing one more land because I was mm, I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Let's try I'll trim a land then. Let's trim a ritual. I, I seem to just be drawing a lot of Ah oh, bug I've submitted sixty one again. Drawing a lot of rituals. A lot of them. I don't really have anything that's good against your deck, I guess. So, the, so, so as you understand it, because obviously we're, we're now 50 minutes into recording and I've literally... <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I I'm have so cast sorry. nothing. I'm so um, sorry. So the, the deck kills by um, waste... So you, you, you wheel with waste not in play, make black mana, draw cards, and then you you should maybe wheel twice, cast a Dream Salvage, or knock a Survival of Dream Salvage back onto your deck, top of your library, draw a bunch of cards, cast a load of rituals, um, cast uh, a pop stones that you've been, cast more rituals, and then and then kill them with, with grape shot. Yeah. The other way you can win is empty the ones out the board. You can also sometimes just play an emerical. If you play an Emrakul, there's people who've played emeralds in these builds as well because you normally make that much mana. When you start to go off, it sort of snowballs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but that said, like this hand here, literally doesn't do anything. Hmm. Uh, so, so you're saying that like the variance of drawing into a hand that does nothing is too high? Yeah, potentially. Like, so last night we went three three, but we combo kill people seven. Even in the games that we lost, we still lost one two with like a combo kill in the okay. amongst the three games. So the deck was going off, and it was a lot of fun. But we had, we had a lot of a lot of people were saying how we had Tibble in the deck. By the way, we had a one off Tibble for I've, fun. I remember I was um, I remember I was watching. You guys like had to buy it online, like online. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And we, had, we had a random Tibble, and we still got there. So hmm. the deck is definitely capable of doing it. But I just I wonder if it's either like uh, I wonder if it's either like bad matchups uh, against like this. I'm, like, I'm this. unsure. Like I could have played hmm. that last round out and maybe maybe drawn to the top of Reforge the Soul. Because I played Reforge the Soul as well. So we're playing four copies last night. We go out of one. Better to knock his revival it back when needed. Yeah. So. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Well, Sometimes you... you never get it. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, next time we'll no play in non budget decks. How's that? Yeah, yeah. Like, well, I could have I could have not played Waste Not, but I enjoyed it so much on stream. I was like, well, I've, I've got to play it, right? Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. And it, it looks like a pretty fun deck. Like, I see yeah, what it's trying to exactly. do, it's just like, it's just not getting there. Yeah, exactly. By the way, my uh, hand this turn is um, hot garbage. I wow. have I have all of the things that do nothing. So again, but your deck's a similar thing, like you need Top Orb, right? But you had Top Orb, I guess you can build into Top Orb. 
Um, which actually I mean, there's, is there's, a very... There's two things. There's Torp Orb and there's also Sundial of Infinite. Right, which, okay. Which, uh, it just ends your turn. <laughs> you can only play it on your yeah. turn, but it just ends the turn. So you play your stuff and then end your turn. So it to doesn't... get rid of the trigger. Yeah. 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 So weirdly, decks that want to... So here's another weird thing, I guess, with this deck. Decks that mulligan to particular cards and therefore play off of smaller hands. It's not a common thing, obviously. No, no um, there's, there's very few of them, actually, I think. Oh, wow, that counts as a transmute. It counts as a transmute. Oh, really? There we go. Interesting. So, like, so like yeah, a top orb style deck. Of course, you're playing Sundial as well to have, like, critical mass of, like, eight style of the effects as well, I guess. So it's not quite yeah. the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But th that sort of thing is also bad. Because last game, I was like, oh, I could actually wreck him with this uh, wheel if his hand was more than one card. Nah. Or even, you know, <laughs> it was, it was uh, pretty bad when I realised it. I was like, wow, this is just not going well. Um, I'm also next turn I can't cast this spell because of my mana base. So that's good. Yeah, I mean, that's the one downside about playing uh, budget decks. And I have this problem like all the time playing budget decks where I'm like, okay, one in seven games you're going to win because you don't get mana. You don't get the right mana, yeah. um, which sucks. And that's actually, I've had a lot of people being like, hey, we want to see Abzan, we want to see, you know, a Grixis deck. And I'm like, I, just, I can't build a three-color deck for, like, under, like, 150 bucks. Like, this is impossible. American dollars a yeah. deck. Um, it's just it's not not doable. <laughs> it's impossible. Yeah, no, exactly. It's so hard. That hurts. Right, okay, there we go. There we go, guys. Things are happening. Making mana, drawing cards... Um, uh, you got it? I'm, you got it? No, I'm one mana short of actually going anywhere. Mm. I think we'd actually go off if we were more red. Because then we could... No, okay, that's fine. That's fine. No, we don't, we don't have to go off because we've got... No, we haven't. This is in my hand. Oh, yeah, we need one more red to be able to discard a card in our hand. That's fine. Sad days. Uh, Well, because I... uh. I don't really want to lose. I'm going to dress you. Let's <laughs> so we'll see what okay. you have. Let's see. Let's see if I can me. stop gonna... stop the madness. I'm going to put Reforged the Soul back on top of my library at my graveyard. Oh. Okay. That's uh, yeah. that's scary. <laughs> yeah. Card's pretty good. Um. Oh, you have just one card in hand. Yep. Which is the other Reforged the Soul. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> um. Okay, well... Oh, I can't I play guess this. we're reforging some souls, right? We are reforging <laughs> some souls. Um, dang, I don't have anything. I got nothing going on here. Uh, I guess we're going to transmute again and take a bunch of damage. Looking for sweet. stuff that gets us. Oh, that's sweet. Because what you just did was cause me to draw a card off waste knot, which caused me to draw a reforge of souls. Hey, on. I'm a I I'm the expert player over here. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, totally meant to do that, right? Yeah? No? Yeah, that's pretty good though, that, so now I don't just kick, like... By the way, that was luck. That was that was not intended. <laughs> I did not... Not intended. That. But that's pretty good, <laughs> so your transmute cards do have a have a purpose. Right. I mean, I could also have used the Shred Memory for its actual ability and exiled your Reforge the Soul out of your graveyard. Yeah. Could yeah, exactly. Have. exactly. But I, I, mean, I didn't obviously didn't know you had Noxus, but I could have done a response. Yeah, you could have done, actually. You could have got me there. So you could have, but I guess that way you do it to get your guy. So did you just not think about shredding the? the no, I just didn't think point? it. I was, I was trying to like, okay, I need to get threats on the board. Um, I was more scared okay. of like a other stuff not happening, like me winning with me attacking with creatures. Let's cast faithless looting. See if we can find some gas. Find the gas. Oh my god! I've just drawn two more fucking lands. Hmm. Maybe, maybe you don't oh. need to go up one more land. You could have just you could have stayed at the other lands. Oh, oh actually, what, what? Oh, God. I'm playing so loose. So loose. That was not the correct well, I mean, thing to do. I mean, it's almost 10 o'clock there. I mean, you have, you have an excuse. Come on. Well, I've, I've never hard cast Reforged the Soul for its normal mana cost. And I never realized it was five. I always thought it was six. So I should just slam that then. Derpy derp. Well, live and learn. Live it's uh well, it's quarter to eleven here. <laughs> oh really? Jeez, sorry. Yeah. I thought it was like almost ten. I was like, oh. No, no. Um, after two days of work on a stream yesterday as well, I'm pretty knackered. Okay, right, well, let's drop a couple hunted horrors and see if I can go a on the couple? the beatdown plan here. <laughs> yeah. Double Amazing. double horrors of hunting, and then you can take your turn. See if you got me. If not, I'm gonna swing in some seven sevens tramples. 
I'm gonna go ahead and cast it. Before just hold from your hand? Yeah, everyone can have loads of cards. There oh. we go. Uh, yeah. This is a really bad hand I have now. I have I have two Sundial Infinites and all lands in my hand right now. <laughs> <laughs> There's no gas in this hand. Um, do you have a way of making me discard? Twice? Yeah. Do you? Let's see it. Oh, I'm burning a query. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> <You bastard. laughs> okay. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I could have killed the turn before, I think, if I just bloody paid some attention to what was in my hand and what the mana cost was. But like I said, I've never I've never cost a reward. From your hand? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I normally brainstorm it to the top and then miracle it in commander, you know? It doesn't really seem like it's a hard a hard card to cast from your hand. Like if you go to like mid game and you're like a little bit like board <laughs> sold. Excuse me. No, completely correct, yeah, definitely. Especially as the deck tends to make a shot got some red open and some black off of your your waist notch, you should be fine. So, and with rituals as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Especially after right. rituals, yeah, I mean, it's... It shouldn't be actually that hard to cast at all. It's, assuming you're holding on to at least one ritual. Well, I tend to draw them in flocks of four, like squadron rituals. Yeah, so. squadron rituals. Oh, boy. Um, uh, yeah, I'll play first. We'll see if I can race you down this time. Okay. My hand looks like... It's not shit. My hand, uh, I'm not really sure how it looks. It's always hard to say when you're playing like a monocolor deck. Because normally I'm like, I don't have any other colored mana. I'm saying this in a, I'm not really sure what I'm talking about kind of way. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's go with my game plan and top, toss in a Torpor Orb. Actually, I'm going to be redoing this deck pretty here soon because um, there's the new white creature. That also does the exact same thing that Torpor Orb does. It's a two drop. Uh, the, the Torpor Guard, basically. Yeah. So I'm gonna make a okay. white version because there's I've a... got my I've got my signature card too. Oh, oh man, this game is getting crazy. We've both got bad rares in play. I say bad, bad. rares. Torpor Orb is a solid sideboard card. It's a solid sideboard. Bad main deck card. Uh, I don't know. I've always thought about playing Torpor Orb decks on the channel, so. And. Ooh, what do I want to play? The, the day Twin gets unbanned, I promise to play a Torpor Orb mid-range deck. Like, in a league. Like this, you know? You should. You should, 100%. <laughs> I don't think it'll ever be unbanned, by the way. <laughs> I think Twin's fine. Like, I thought it was fine before it got banned. I'm, I'm much. I'm very much on the... the um, what's the word I'm looking for? The uh, Twin did nothing wrong. Bandwagon? Bandwagon. Yeah, yeah. I, I will say, because I've played a lot of Paper Magic lately since the unbannings, and mm -hmm. I think originally it's I was like, ah, Bloodbraid is not that strong compared to Jace. I actually think Bloodbraid is stronger in a, the decks yeah. that it's doing well in than yeah. Jace. Uh oh. Because I mean, I keep seeing Bloodbraid being played in Ponza decks, and it's insane. Just like. Did I just hit three creatures again? From my hand? Yeah. Hey, you did. Yeah. Sweet. Check that out. <laughs> I mean, right. I, I kind of wanted all of those, for the record. Just... That's, you know. I mean, I could play a second Torpor if you want. That is an option. To learn draw. Okay. It's fine. We'll just play another Burning Creed. I'm sure you get more. Yeah. There's more oh, creatures. Oh, baby. And some land. It's happening. Guys, it's, it's, it's happening. It's happening. Oh, no. You can, I, uh, I give you permission to stop at any time. Nope. Let's draw some more cards. Nope. Yeah, that's just, a, that is a lot of draw. I guess I it makes sense. Cards. Salvage when you when it goes, it goes well. Yeah, that 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 felt good. Um, I guess the thing is, like, I feel like this deck every so often just loses to itself from Burning Inquiry because there's certain cards like in the Hollow One decks that are running Burning Inquiry. They're just like they don't care. They're like oh half yeah, our definitely. cards can go to the graveyard. And we don't care. But <coughs> this one here feels like there's a few cards you're like, I really don't want that going to the graveyard. Um, so I can cast Past and Flame and cast Burn Inquiry one more time. Is that all, all I can do? So I haven't. If I drew one more Simeon Spirit Guide, I could have gone a bit further off. Actually, what I can do is cast Liliana's Caress and then cast Collective Defiance at you. Go to triggers. There we go. Hmm. That's is this, better. Is, it, is this lethal or just a whole bunch of damage? I think it's just a lot of damage and mana. I don't think I'm killing you yet. 
Hmm. Um. Yeah. There you go. Whoa. That was an alright turn, wasn't it? I just totally realized I took out. I did not take out Doomblade. I have Doomblade in my hand. And doesn't <laughs> yeah, definitely, my zombies. Definitely I'm doesn't not... kill your stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There well, I don't think I'm out of the game yet. Uh, no, mostly because I can play a Nile spell bomb. Yep. And I can even draw a card off of it. You can, you can stop me ancient grudging your top orb. This is exactly exactly what is about to happen here. And we'll draw a card off of it. Hopefully I'll draw into a two drop. I don't. Uh huh. That goes my graveyard. And I oh, shame. I think I need to pitch my hand as much as possible. So we're going to play a Sundial Infinite, even though I'm probably <laughs> never going to get around to playing it. And you may go. I think you got me this turn. You're not swimming at 5 3? No, you have a bunch of. Oh, I have a fly. I mean, yeah, I mean, you're going to then you'll just on the backswing, swing for 8, make me discard a couple cards. I feel I'm like. I'm going to swing for 8 anyway. Well, yeah, but I could block it. I'll take 6. Wow. It'll be less painful this way. It's two turn clock. Two turn clock. See? See? Zombies get there sometimes, I guess. Yeah, they, they, if they, I do kill they, zombies, it'll be the first time I've ever killed with zombies off a of waste knot as well. That's never happened well, Do you before. not have any right. way of... You have nothing? You have no cards? Like, eight cards in hand and a bunch of mana? You have no way of making... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm saying if that does... <laughs> okay. that does... Um, so, let's cast Looting. Turn some of these cards into... Go wow, that hit two lands. That's... I mean, that's that's the the flavor of the night, right? Vince draws yeah, land. Yeah, isn't that? I mean, I do, that's what we should call this uh, this video. Vince draws land. The other side, you, you get to see it as well. You get to see my looting just hit <laughs> lands like the vast majority of times. Just land, land, land. <laughs> Let's make some more mana and see where we go from here. Then. Let's go ahead and cast Rift Looting again. Hit a land and a ritual. I mean, I am playing a lot of lands and rituals. To be fair to the deck. Yeah. Um. But is it proportionate? Three more. Use some of it for this. Let's make a red and a Mana red. Memorphosis Ewing. Um, I want that card to be reprinted at common in the new modern ma in the Masters twenty five set. <laughs> yeah. That would be red. Yeah. I think See, the card definitely needs another reprint, that's for sure. At common um, level. That's actually one thing that like always drives me a little bit crazy is when they like this card is played a lot. And we should reprint it at Mythic Rarity. <laughs> Come on. I'm pretty I'm pretty <laughs> bummed that Charles took Mythic. I'm not gonna lie, I really wanted some someone yeah. to build Stompy and Legacy and Paper and I'm pretty annoyed that they did that, but never mind. What can you do other than be well, we wizards? Can, we can be salty. Oh we can be vocal about it and then might stop doing that. Mmm I'm willing to bet no. <laughs> They don't listen Cause to think, us. Because think if they print it at Mythic, then the next time they print it, people are still gonna wanna buy it. See? You lower it enough that people feel like you've got a reprint, but not enough of a reprint to make it go yeah. down to like forty dollars or below. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think there's an important thing about reprinting. They can't just print over. Am I cutting out at all, by the way? Uh, a little bit here and there, but it's not that bad. Oh, I should have said I'll move the mic closer to my head. Oh. Yeah. That's a thing I can Put, do. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think. Well, can you, can you, can you move your head closer to the mic rather than your mic I've, closer I've to the mic? I've done both. Oh, really? You kind of like met I'm in the now, middle. I'm inside. You were inside the mic? Inside the microphone. Oh. I mean, it's not very echoey. I'd expect it to be more echoey if it was, you know, head, I have become head mic. The, the microphone. You've become the microphone. I mean, you, your name could be Mike. Like, legit. Legitimately called Mike. Do I have any of the... No, you exiled them. You bastard. No, I, right. I made your graveyard disappear. Disappear. This is my, ma my, my real magic trick. We now have a disappearing yeah. trick. So I now have three red. Four. God. I should have ditched that land to keep this Liliana's caress. That was also a punt. Um, let's now cast Faithless Looting. Yep. My favourite card of magic. Uh, did it get us there? It did get us there. Good boy, Faithless Looting. Okay. You've well, earned we'll... your meat tonight. Let's see if it will actually get us there. No, I think it I does kill. Just you're just dead to the Lilliana's crest there. I think. Not necessarily. Oh, sudden spawning. What? Your zombies are so oh, zero twos. I think I still discard two cards though. You do discard two cards. 
and that's and I draw a not a very good card. Um, so I'm down to two, which is not dead. But if you make me discard again, yes. Oh, you don't have it? No, I, I drew waste not. Ooh. Clunky, clunky, clunky. Hmm. I this is not the card I was looking for. Uh, but does it get me there? I think we are going to. Huh. Play a big thing? Mm, I want to play a big thing, but I'm positive that if I play a big thing, it still isn't enough to block two damage from one of your three creatures. Phage the untouchable? Not, not gonna, not gonna get us there. And light increase? I don't have those either. I mean, uh, phage isn't even legal in modern, but I'm just uh, thinking of cool stuff you can play at top of. I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna. I have shred memory, so I could like technically get rid of your past in flames. You oh have no! That. I didn't. Really, I, I forgot. I forgot. It was Whoopsie. too. It was so long ago that I forgot that cycling is a form of discarding. I think it does. It literally say on the card that cycling is. Yeah, discard this card. Yep. <sighs> Dear diary, today. Discard I, which card? <laughs> discard. Yeah. Uh, boo! Wow. Boom. I'm happy to end on end on a high where I got yeah. one win. <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes you get there, sometimes you. What's well, your fair? I've already played the deck like six times in six games before this. Before tonight, <laughs> yeah. I've also played it with a better mana base and not yeah. one random card that doesn't do anything. Um, so that was pretty bad. Like, <laughs> I mean, that's one of the things about playing uh, non-budget decks versus my budget decks, right? It's just like the better cards really make the difference. Exactly, and sometimes as well, like you do make. It's kind of like when you play Legacy Death and Taxes against um, non-Legacy decks, you can lose a lot because the deck is, especially in Standard, where there's a lot of basic lands and stuff, the deck's designed to attack a meta game. Yeah. So in some ways, like um, like I was saying earlier, like some of the cyborg cards aren't really that good or because I was thinking, well, you're not going to be playing, like, you know, Dredge. Or I didn't think you'd be playing Dredge, for example. Yeah. Not that that's not why I put cyborg cards. Um, graveyard hate ends, mainly because I've, I've got a graveyard anyway. Um, yeah, so there's that meta game element as well, isn't it? Yeah, no, totally. Especially, I mean, even more so with the sideboard. Like, you, your sideboard is geared around what you see in the format. And every so often when you bring up a deck that's, like, way against the grain, people just lose to it because, like, what, what do we do? I remember it's like when, the, when humans first came out and became, like, were a big splash. No one had proper sideboard stuff for it. I was just like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, and well, look, at, look at the Storm decks and sitting on turn two at big events and stuff like that, the video I made. Yeah, they just don't know how to deal meddling mage because it's a completely new and out there thing. Yeah. So yeah, so yeah, there's a lot to be said about that. Same with the budget deck. Sometimes you just get people because your deck is so out there and weird. Or in my case, it it's already a combo deck that completely folds to itself. So making your mana base worse. Because <laughs> <laughs> there was a point in one of the games as well where I, could, I just coun't even dig into the combo, double red. Yeah. Because it had blood crypts in well, play. And, and that's the other thing so. actually. Like um, when you're doing the fetch lands, you're fixing your mana base and making it so you're less likely to draw into more land. Um, well, whilst I agree, those Faithless Lootings would disagree with you, because I drew, uh, I cost three <laughs> yeah. Faithless Lootings that game, and two of them draw me two lands. But like if, you were, lands, if you were running, like, the, the full set of Blood Crypt, and I'm assuming, you're assuming you're running six fetches in that deck normally. No, what are you running? Oh, so usually, I think we went up. Yeah, let me just have a quick look. In the non-budget version. In the non-budget yeah. version. I all went of up a sudden to a you fifth have... fetch, and we played one Black Clay Cliffs, but I think actually that cliff should have been another Catacombs. Okay. So yeah, I think you should play six to eight fetches in the in the non-budget version. Yeah. So as soon as you start like going off and you're like faithless looting, you're not faithless looting into more land, theoretically. Exactly. Exactly. Because so. the only thing the non-budget version, blood moons, because those do just randomly win games out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, again, this uh, what was this? Yesterday. Yesterday it was. <laughs> um, I was playing uh, against Ponza with uh, Eldrazian taxes at my uh, LGS. And this is like turn two blood moon. I'm like, well, I'm just gonna pick up my cards now. Thanks. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you 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 play Eldrazian taxes in paper then? Do you? I sure do. This is why I was like, do you play Eldrazian taxes or just regular one? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I, well, you're obviously not familiar with my slightly older content because I made a lot of DNT videos, like a lot of them. I will like, admittedly say I am not as familiar with your yeah. older content. I've definitely watched all the mono red uh, Tron decks though, because there you I, go. So, well, a little while after that, I did, I did uh, an Eldrazi Tron, uh, Eldrazi and taxes deck because people were begging me to do it mm -hmm. about what was it four or five months ago. 
So, um, yeah, maybe go back and watch. I think we did pretty well with it. I think we did 3-2 or 4-1. I can't remember. The deck's good. I just prefer having, you know, Noble Hierarch to get if you know. Yeah, I can see that. Anyways, let's actually wrap this video up. Yeah, how we're... definitely. <laughs> so... As we are, I'm an hour, over an hour in from me just I'm going to upload this day. video like straight as is. Zero editing. People are going to be like, wow, an hour of just hanging out with Vince and Adrian. Fantastic. Cool. Um, I guess we should do an outro then, yeah? So, so, yeah, I'll do my outro here right now. So, thanks for watching Giant Monster Games. We have had Vince from Pleasant Kenobi. Again, link to his video is going to be uh, below in the description. My name's Adrian, and don't forget to game like a giant monster.